The Ohio State University suffered an attack earlier this morning. Nine people have been hospitalized, suffering from non-life-threatening injuries, while one is in critical condition. Police neutralized the situation in less than a minute on arrival, shooting and killing the suspect on scene. At 8.52 our time this morning, the suspect drove a motor vehicle into a group of pedestrians. He then got out of the car and began attacking others with a butcher knife. The suspect is Abdul Razak Ali Artan, an 18-year-old Somali refugee who was a legal permanent resident. He lived in the Columbus area and the car used in the attack was registered to a family member. Immediately I started texting all of my friends. Um, I got tons of notifications of people checking in safe on Facebook and it was pretty scary to think like, okay, I was literally just there. And then also being on campus and having to leave for class, it's kind of like a shock. It's really not that far from us. It could happen at any time. It could happen on any campus. And um, it's kind of just like a reality check of no place is like safe from things like this now. The attack occurred near Watts Hall on campus, where earlier this morning a gas leak was reported, sending more students out onto the street while the Columbus Fire Department was inside. Authorities believe these incidents are not connected, but says it was fortunate authorities were already close to the site.